If you've been struggling to finish your backswing, stick around. I'm going to show you how to actually make a full turn and know how to start your transition. Hey, Alex Fisher here for this next tip. Stick around. I'll show you how that's going to work out. Okay, so let's get to it. So a lot of times I see students when they're struggling with their swings, especially if they lose power, is because they're not making a full turn. What we want to do is make sure we understand exactly what a full turn is, how to actually make a shoulder turn where our shoulders turn 90 degrees and we're able to get all the way to the top of our backswing. So a lot of times you'll see people when they're making swings, they'll take the golf club back and their arms will end up just collapsing about here and a lot of times that front arm is not straight because they're not making a full shoulder turn. So one thing we can do is we can actually do a little routine here where we get an understanding of how to make a bigger swing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hold the golf club up in front of me like so. I'm going to get the shaft in line with my chest and then from here what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and tilt my shoulders down like so. Tilt my hip as, hips as well. Try and get my hands to almost underneath of my shoulders at this point here. I'm going to go ahead and then rest the club on my right shoulder, make a 90 degree turn where my left shoulder is going to be underneath my chin and then just extend up. And what that's going to do is it's going to give me the, the full rotation that I'm looking for with my shoulders, but also I'll create more extension at the top as well. So if you do that drill, I guarantee you'll have a better understanding of making a full turn and I guarantee you'll hit the ball a little bit further as well. Thanks for checking out this month's tip.